Hey, welcome back. And I'm going to apologize for this episode up front to you guys. So, been having a lot of work done around the house, got solar installed, um, still dealing with that, and just been doing a little bit of traveling. Um, the whole Arduino concept hasn't been going in my favor. I, I've been struggling with noise issues from the power supply. I tried pull up resistors, pull down resistors. I uh, tried filtering it using capacitors and, and just, it, it hasn't gone my way. And I hate to show you guys something that is not finished, but it, it's been too long and at least you guys will get some sort of update where we're at. Uh, in the meantime, until I can figure out the Arduino concept, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take and uh, do a hard install uh, using more traditional control method for the blinkers and everything else. And then we'll come back to the Arduino concept a little bit later on down the road. Uh, for now, we'll get the switches put in here later in the next episode and just get it all wired up and then get started on doing the body work because uh, I really am getting tired of seeing it just as a frame like this. I, I really want to see it as a more refined finished product. So we'll get there and uh, stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble one Arduino with some pins so we can put it in a breadboard, do some prototyping, get all our programming taken care of. I picked up this a electric uh, soldering iron. Normally I use a little butane one, but I wanted to get something where I could set the temperature just right and not burn up the board or anything. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and put this together, uh, get our Arduino out, get our pins in solder it all up and then we'll pop on over to the computer and start our program. Here's our Arduino now. And we have our little pin set here as well. So what we'll do is we'll just install our side ones because we can run power off of our USB cable right here. So all we'll do is put like that both sides. I'm going to take and stick it in our breadboard to hold it in place and that way we get our spacing right. Next, I have this uh, 10 LED LED block. We're just gonna stick it down here and we're gonna use that to confirm when it's uh, power cycling on and off for our LEDs.
had to download the driver that is ag not agnostic to bananas. I had to download the Elegoo specific one for this guy. So got it downloaded All right, and we got a basic setup good now. You can see it it's blinking the one light right now. Um, so by just adding some more code, we'll get it to blink all the lights if we wanted to. What I want to do is I want to take and have the five volts uh, pin out go to uh, the main bus for a, a five volt and then run that to each individual analog input. That way we can control, hey, I'm getting a, pot, a signal back from uh, the, the left turn signal getting the signal back from a right turn signal. I need to turn on this LED. So we'll give that a try now. And uh, hopefully we'll um, get it working like we want it to. And once we get it all set up, then we'll uh, hopefully uh, get some wiring on there and uh, get it loaded up on the trike. All right, this time, this time I did get it. After changing around some variables, uh, I did manage to separate it out where it's not gonna interfere. So we have left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights, park lights, low beam, high beam, computer, and boom. Hazard lights. And everything is working on a non interference basis. And it's also working all in conjuncture so I can have all these things turned on at the same time without interfering with, with each other. All right. So we got all the programming done. It's loaded on here. But this isn't our final board. So we got to take. Uh, get our final board, this one right here, add all the wires to it for the inputs and outputs. And just load the same program right onto this one and we're good to go. Show you guys just how small this little micro DC to DC buck converter is. So that's it, tiny, tiny. That's uh, one and a half amps, so plenty to power up all the uh, solid state relays and everything. So we'll go ahead, uh, remove our input side, and directly solder the input to this, and then our output. Same thing, we'll solder it out and uh, put it in line and then install everything. It's soldered in here in line. Uh, we'll verify that it functions, make sure we got five volts coming out of it. And uh, then we'll cut these to length and put our ends on here. So let's go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and toss some shrink wrap on this and uh, we'll keep going. So here's the deal. This board, for whatever reason, the filtering they have on it right here, it does not work. Uh, I did try putting an external filter on it and that works just fine, but I'm not gonna build a filter for every single channel. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna toss this, uh, keep it for future projects or whatnot, 
and uh, I'm gonna order a new board with just regular micro relays uh, for 10 amps each and that should do the trick. One eternity later. So let me show you what's going on right now. I uh, got it pretty much all set up. So what I'm having an issue with is creating a lot of noise onto a board. Let me show you what that looks like. So that shouldn't be automatically triggered. Those two should be off right now. You can see it's bleeding out right here and here. And I don't know if you heard that relay just, see? Relay is clicking on its own because it's generating noise and setting off the Arduino. Well, looks like Arduino number two is toast now. Um, apparently these little tiny DC, DC microconverters, because they don't have any filtration or anything, they're just burning up. Uh, the converters. So I got the one off the breadboard, hooked it up right now, and everything works as intended. No leaking, no anomalies, no flickering. Um, so I'll go ahead and solder it up, and um, I'm tired of doing the electrical. I'm sure you guys are tired of watching me fiddle around with the uh, electrical. Um, I'll go ahead and install the switches and get this wired up and then call it a day and then next time we'll start working on the bodywork.